tall. About 25. A bit frightening, really. Well, look, Miss Dallow, if this guy comes bothering you again, just get in touch with us as soon as you can, all right? Oh, my God, what's that? You'll have to excuse us. Oh, what's going on? It's OK, it's her baby. Thank you, thank you. What is it? My baby. Yeah? No, no, Deborah, not that one. Okay, just calm down and tell me exactly what's happened. Christopher, it's Christ. Yes? Andrew, that's the is the baby ill? Huh? My son. What? He's dead, I think. Can you take him upstairs, please, to your room? Quick as you can. What's it, Andrew? Oh. Let me see what I can do for him, hmm? Mr. I'm going to stay here. No, I'm Mr. 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 Robbins, right, Robbins. Mr. Please, could you go outside just for a minute, hmm? And I'll see what I can do. Please, just for a minute. Have you called an ambulance yet, love? Just the doctor. 101 to Sierra Oscar, are you receiving? Over. Yes, Sarge, I need an ambulance urgently at number. 68. 68 Stewart Road, over. Message understood. Out. Now look, might you have swallowed something by any chance? No, he was asleep. Well, we thought he was. Mom. Just a minute, darling. We but thought... Mum, it's time I was at school. Come on, darling, come in here. What's she doing in there? Look, you better come down now, Mr. Robbins. No, no the policewoman is trained at first aid. Yeah. She'll do everything she can. Now, please, come down. OK. Mr. Robbins. Come on, darling, finish your breakfast. Come here. Andrew? Come on, you have some orange juice, hmm? Orange juice, then. Is this all your own work, is it, Deborah? Yes. You're a good painter, aren't you? It was me. It was my fault. Um, excuse me a minute. One zero one receiving over. Give us a sit rep, will you, Tappy? Yeah, we're still waiting for the ambulance, Sarge. Looks like we've got a possible infant mortality. We'll lead to the ID here. I'll ring through. There's a doctor on the way. Then she's been called. Cool. She's just around the corner. Right, thanks, Taff. Out. Try and get hold of the duty officer, will you? They're upstairs in the baby's room. There's a WPC with him. Right, I'm going you. with them. And there's an ambulance on its way. Thank you. It's the doctor. When did you find him, Mr. Robbins? About what time? Uh, about ten minutes ago. He'd, he'd had, had his feed and been put back to bed, and then Rachel came up to check on him, and then I heard her shouting. Mr. Robbins, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I'm so sorry. I'm Better hang on here a minute, guys. I'm not sure what we've got this time. What's happening? Probably be better if you all waited inside. You couldn't arrange it for us, could you? Is he dead, then? Christopher? Look, love. Your mum and dad will have a chat with you in a minute, all right? 
Mr. Robbins. Is there anywhere your daughter could go for a bit? I'll ring Rachel's sister. Come on, Debbie. Come talk to your mummy. Packed him off to school first thing this morning. He took his lunchbox and everything. But he didn't arrive. The school secretary rings up. Your Roger's not turned up, Mrs. Lamb. Any likely reason you can think of why I went missing like this? I can't think. I think the best thing we can do is find out Mrs. Burke. I'm sure it's. Oh, it's the same name, different address, but the Robins did move after the first time. Did Tom Pelly tell the CID about the previous occasion? Can't get a hold of anyone. I left a message for Tosh. Socko's been informed. Well, I'll go through the cars, see if it throws any light, eh? When did it happen before? Uh, must be about four years ago. It was a baby girl. Could be a bit twitchy about this one, CID, if it's the second time. Well, there was no cause for suspicion before. I mean, these cop this, they run in the family sometime, don't they? So I'm sure there's no reason to worry about you turn up. How old is he? He'll be ten next month. And his school? St Peter's Middle School. What's his school attendance like, Mrs Lamb? Oh, he like to be playing hooky or lobbed off with his mates? I'll beat him black and blue if he has. Hey, you are, sir. Cheers. Hey, there's a cop death. Yeah, uh, tricky situation. Might have been the previous baby. In the Robbins four months DOA. Yeah, I was on relief on foot patrol. It's the same family. They used to live at Glenside. Baby was unconscious, died in the ambulance. Can you comment on this one, Sarge? If you know them, I might help yeah. these things a bit. Oh, of course. I'll clear it with Inspector Fraser, if that's okay. Right. We better get there. Here, Tosh. Yeah. Can we come back? Yeah. All right, Deborah. Your mum and dad won't be long. Hey, I'll put your belt on. Look, thanks very much for all your help, Mrs. Hudson. I'm very grateful. Sergeant Cryer. Hello. I'm Rachel Robin's sister, remember? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about the... Yeah. How are things, Jim? I'm not sure, really, Sarge. Is this open? Yeah. All right, Tuff? Sarge. The parents are in there, and the doctor's with them. Right. Now, I know you two are upset, but we've got to be thinking about the parents, because this is the second time they've been through this. Had a baby daughter die. No. Look, I'll go and introduce myself, eh? Yeah, good thinking, Tosh. Cheers. Right. The well, soccer will be along shortly, but I don't want them in there until Tosh has had a chance to talk to Mr and Mrs Robbins. They've decided where they want to go. So I want you to take care of the parents, particularly the mum, because you're going to be very, very wobbly. Mm. And Taff, if you could get onto the station and ask them to get in contact with the coroner's office. Right, Sarge. Oh, and there's something the CID should know. The daughter, the little girl, she's started to blame herself for what's happened. Oh, I don't think it's likely to be anything in that, but I'll tell Tosh about it anyway. Oh, yeah, hello. Um, look, I'll tell the doctor you're here. If you could wait out here for a couple of minutes, yeah? Okay. Thanks. More true than. Photographer? Yeah, he's on his way. Good. Right, Jim, do your stuff. I realise it's in a position, but an officer will be arriving to remove certain items of bedding and clothing for forensic. We're under suspicion. It's routine procedure, Mr. Roberts. Please don't take it personally. Which other way is there? We have to do these things. Look, why don't you leave the house just for a couple of hours while we... I'm not going anywhere. I'm not staying here when they're wrecking over our things. Can't it wait? He's too... Unfortunately, it can't. I'm sorry. I know this is going to be very painful for you, but, uh, We've got to talk about the circumstances of Christopher's death. Either we can talk at your sister's or down at the police station, whichever. We're going to be arrested. No, we ask for your cooperation on a voluntary basis. Why well, suggest the station, then? Only that it might be less distressing for your daughter to talk at the station rather than your sisters. Excuse me, can I have a word? Yes, certainly. Let's go to my museum. Inspector, this is uh, Dr. Dennett. Hello, hello. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Robbins, I'm sure you remember me. It's vital that Mr. and Mrs. Robbins see their baby as a way of saying goodbye. Officially, this must be treated as a suspicious death. It's got to be that way. It's cot death. 
Six babies die somewhere like this every day. All right. So long as everything in the room is left exactly as it is. Thank you. June, can you go upstairs with the parents? It's okay for them to look at the baby, but don't let them touch anything. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, perhaps you could get them out of the way, take them out into the garden for a few minutes. Sure. If you could give them a couple of minutes, yeah. Goodbye, Doctor. How long have you been there, GP, Doctor? Nearly four years. Was that about the same time when their first baby died? Yes. Why did they change doctors? Move to a different area? No. They didn't want to stay with their previous doctor. They felt unhappy dealing with him. Has Mrs. Robbins suffered from postnatal depression? You know we have to ask these things. She had a mild bout, nothing extreme. She was under medication? No, it cured itself. Has she seen you over nerves, anxiety states, things like that? For a short while, when the baby daughter died. But uh, there were no serious problems? I did get a bit concerned about Deborah at one point. What bothered you, Doctor? Rachel and Andrew became very overprotective towards her after Hardy let her out of the house, suffocating the child with affection. It lessened when Christopher was born. Thank you, Doctor. I'll uh, give you a call if we need to talk to you again. Bye. Bye-bye. And thank you. We're taking the parents to the station. Right, ma'am. Can you cope with the mortuary? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sorry, right, take your time, June. Finish your cigarette. Wait till I get you home. Mrs. Robbins, if you could just come this way. Mr. Robbins, perhaps you'd go with P.C. Edwards. Why can't we stay together? It's simply that we'd like to talk to you individually. It's just along here, sir. Mr. Robbins. Tosh? Hmm? What do you think? It could have come from a kick. Mind it, on. Difficult to tell. They've got a nine-year-old. She's bound to have a friend stomping around. Well, the table's been knocked about a bit. Yeah, it's difficult to keep a house pristine with kids. So what do you reckon, Tosh? You're the expert on families. Perfectly normal. Could have been one of my kids lying up there. Things are finished. Stuff's ready to go down to Lambeth. So if you want to go down and have a word with the parents, Tosh. Did he cry a lot? All the time. I used to joke about his strong lungs. Did the crying bother you? What did you do when he cried? I love to hear him cry. Babies cry, it's natural. To hear him meant... He was there. He's all right. I 
I worried for Deborah. Games. Kids like to play. Rivalries. Jealousies. Wishing each other dead. Deborah didn't really mean it. I do understand. She loves Christopher. But you know what they're like. They can't get it out of their heads that it isn't their fault. <laughs> when Linda went from us, Deborah was convinced. Did you try to revive him? I just held him. And you realised that Christopher had died? I'm not for certain. I was just frightened he was. Where was, uh, Where was Deborah at the time? I mean, before Rachel called from upstairs. He was having breakfast with me. All the time? Well, no, she's got a routine. I... <clears throat> I call her, make sure she's out of bed. And Rachel does her breakfast while she's getting dressed and using the bathroom. Then she comes down. I give her a breakfast and Rachel gets crisper. OK. Tell me, how did Deborah get on with the new baby? She adores him. Was she in the habit at all of um, going to see Christopher? To play with him? No, no, she's normally in too much of a rush. But she did sometimes? No. While your wife was busy? No. No, I mean, why, why are you asking these questions? It's just that Deborah seemed to think, well, she told an officer, that it was her fault. You don't seriously imagine that. You've just got to be clear, look, that's honest. It's just a reaction. It's shock. She didn't go near Christopher this morning, I promise you. All right, Mr. Roberts. Now, look, I've got to ask you this. I mean, an idle sound, but... Uh, why do you think your first baby died? They, they couldn't give a cause. They put cop deaths on the certificate. I see. No, you don't. Nobody sees. Thank you, Nick. Maybe something we'd done will neglect it. We might need to talk to you again, I hope not. We'll let you know the results of the post mortem. Obviously, sir. I think your wife's really inspected. She won't. Oh, yeah. I'll drop you round to your sisters if you want. I'd rather go home. Like Deborah. We've got to face it sometime. Can we go back there yet? Yes, we've finished. Thank you. We'll take you home. Deborah's and I will drop them off. Tosh will pick Deborah on the way. Thank you, Mum. Reg, have you seen Bob Cryer? Yeah, he's uh, got up to your office. Jeez. Oh, well, June, preliminary post-mortem. Did they find anything? Not even nappy rash. Thank you. Preliminary examination reveal no identifiable cause of death. Yeah, okay, go via yeah, time. No. <sighs> Routine follow up, then wait. Wait and see what Lambeth come up with. We'll be drawing our pensions. Well, I reckon they're straight, don't you? There's nothing in that house to indicate any funny business. Still, we've got to button it up, tidy the ends. Right, Bob? That's right, Tosh.
Fun. Yeah, well, don't take it out on me, all right? Look, do you want to talk about it? And after all, I was there as well. No, I don't want to talk about it, all right? It's just another death, isn't it? It's just another bloody death. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's the way to look at it. Oh, suit yourself. I'm going to go get drunk. Yeah, why not? It's still inconclusive. The pathologist couldn't say what the cause was. So, again, no one can tell us why. Yes, well, uh, this is a receipt the items we took from your house. How are you both feeling? Did you manage to get the seat last night? Well, not much. We, uh, stayed up discussing the future. You know, what we ought to do. Kept Deborah awake without talking. How is she? Quiet. It's upstairs. Didn't send her to school. That's probably best. Do you uh, have any problems? Neighbours or anything? Had a couple of funny phone calls. Deborah took one. Well, I'll ask the CID to look into that. They can aim a few questions around the neighbourhood, probably warn them off. Well, I'm sorry to have intruded, but uh, that's the trouble with these things. I'll call around in a couple of days and see how you both are. Bye for now. Through. I, uh, I, I don't think we'd really want that. No, well, as I say, sometimes it helps. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, I suppose you get quite used to all this, do you? Not really, no, sir. <laughs> 